This is a story about the discovery of Belle, that little brown dog that we all love so much. And one winter, me and Heidi and Uncle Seth, Melissa, went down to Florida because it was so cold and snowy and we thought, well, hell, we'll just go down to Florida and work there for the winter. So we went down there, we got a trailer. It was a really nasty old trailer in like a ghetto slum park. There were all kinds of girls, poor people lived around us. But it was winter and we were in Florida. We were so happy not to have to in snow. And we just had a good old time anyways. Well, after a couple months, we got a job. We were putting roofs on these huge uh, timeshares, which were like big hotel condos um, around Walt Disney World. We're up on those roofs about six stories, which is about 50, 60 feet up off the ground. It's not very high. Working in, yeah, it's, it's high enough that you'd definitely die if you fell. It's way, way higher than our house. Our house is only like 30 feet away. Oh, wow. So twice as high as a house. Well, we were doing pretty good. We were making some money, and all we had was this little escort. So we decided, um, Heidi and I, that we were going to get a, our first pickup truck. And actually, that was when I asked Heidi to marry me, and the pickup truck was our engagement present, yeah. and I'm sure she'll have some interesting things to say about getting a truck for a birthday, or an engagement present, but at the time we were happy, and we were going to go look for our new truck. So we were in a place called Orlando, Florida. Hey. You guys know anything about Orlando, Florida? Um, That's where Disney World is. Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, huge yeah. resort, uh, resort town, it's a pretty big city too. So uh, we were down in the part of the city where there's lots of car dealerships and there were tons of them on each side of the road and we were walking down the road and there were little stores and shops on the side. When we got a ways down there and uh, this little brown short haired dog, like a little hound dog of some kind, started following us. It was like, I didn't pay much attention to it, I figured it was just that shop owner's dog. So uh, we walked down to the next store and the dog was still following us. So we went in and we said, uh, is this your dog or does somebody work around here's dog? She says, no, I have no idea who's that dog that is. It's been hanging around here for a while. I think it's lost or something. I said, oh, all right. I wasn't really planning on getting a dog. So we went out we kept walking. And we walked away and so I looked back and there's that little brown dog. Belly. <laughs> so I was thinking, they followed us around and we got back, we looked at the trucks and we got back to our car. And then I opened up the door to get in the car. And guess who got in before I did? <laughs> no. A little brown dog. No. <laughs> I said, Heidi, I think this little dog wants to come home with us and be part of our family. And she said, I think that would be a wonderful idea. Because Heidi is such a sweet woman and has so much love for animals and everything. So we gave the dog a big hug and she sat right in the seat in between us and rode home. We took her home to our trailer and we tied her up uh, in the carport. The first thing she did was she dug a huge big cave underneath the cement slab of the carport. <laughs> chewed up all my shoes. Chewed my wallet. <laughs> killed the neighbor's rooster. And the neighbor came over, it was this little kid, he's about 80 cents. Your dog killed my rooster, you owe me 80 cents. And he said, your rooster's only worth 80 cents? He said, yeah, new roosters cost me 80 cents and your dog killed my rooster. Okay, so I gave him a dollar and told him to keep the change. Terrorized all the cats. And at first, her name was not Bella, her name was Blue. So I had a little dog named Blue. But after a while, um, she was such a brat. She chewed up everything. She didn't listen. She pooped where she wasn't supposed to. She terrorized all the neighbor's cats. And when I would yell at her and try to behave, she just give me this look, like, I can do what I want to do. I don't have to listen to me. <laughs> so we named her Belle, which is short for belligerent. <laughs> and uh, she was Belle ever after. And we'd go to visit friends, and she'd chew up our friend's shoes, and I'd have to buy new shoes. Or she'd chew up their bike tire, and I'd have to buy another bike tire. <laughs> so Belle was not a cheap dog. But it wasn't too long that we realized that Belle was not your normal house dog. And in our next story, 